This is gonna be very, very interesting. SSX Tricky, where do I start? In the late 90s and early 2000s, you couldn't move for snowboarding games. They were mostly a bargain bin buy when there was nothing else new to play. Then EA releases SSX Tricky and we all went absolutely bananas. It had great graphics, phenomenal controls, wicked looking tricks, a sick soundtrack and addictive gameplay. So addictive in fact that it had us lazy teenagers waking up early just to have an extra half an hour before school. At least I did anyway. So great is Tricky that I reckon if you walk up to a random person on the street and calmly ask them what is your favourite snowboarding game? They'll either do one or two things. They'll either scream and call the police or just start body popping while singing. Tricky was released in November 2001 and is the second game in EA's extreme snowboarding franchise. And I think it remains most people's favourite of the series. Everything just clicked with Tricky. The wacky art style, the tight controls, the soundtrack, the courses. It was bloody amazing. But what put it over the edge was the inclusion of the adrenaline meter. Build that sucker up to the top and a remix of Run DMC's Tricky starts playing, letting you know you can now perform your rider's personal uber tricks. Now I didn't call them uber tricks, I called them trickies. So perform six trickies to fill in the word and you'll get unlimited adrenaline which means you can speed boost constantly as well as being able to perform trickies to your heart's content. And this right here is my happy place. Now. You have two main modes, race and show off. In race mode you have to race a bunch of other riders down the slopes and be the first one to cross the finish line. While this mode at first may seem like you have to worry more about racing than tricks, remember, six trickies equals infinite boost. You can also knock other riders down using the right analog stick to instantly fill your adrenaline meter, but that may come at a price, because Tricky has an excellent character rivalry system. So, if you're in good standing with a particular character, they're less likely to try and wipe you out. Whereas, if you're enemies, then that character will act more aggressive towards you. They'll also trash talk each other before the race. Don't break anything on the way down, chicken legs. Oh, get over yourself. It's an absolute blast. And I think if EA got their act together and released Tricky 2, which is what I'm proposing, its online multiplayer would explode. Look, EA, look, costumes, board skins. Think of the money you could charge us, you bastards. And race mode isn't even the best part of Tricky. The best part of Tricky is show off mode where you'll have to achieve a high enough score to be able to progress to the next stage. And this is where the addiction kicks in. You'll always be looking for that perfect run. I mean, countless times I'll be halfway through a run, mess up once and instantly restart. You'll do this over and over again and slowly descend into madness. When you first start out, you'll be rubbish, which is understandable. There's lots to learn. You've got to learn loads of moves, how to grind, the best routes to take, who's the best character, but pretty soon you'll get the hang of it. You'll start upgrading your character's stats, start unlocking new and better boards, and with your newfound skills and knowledge, you'll return to that stage that you could just about scrape a bronze on and go absolutely bananas. And it feels tremendously rewarding to do so. There are a few games that I return to year after year, but SSX Tricky is one of them. And I think enough time has passed for a Tricky reboot to feel fresh, especially to the younger generation who've probably never even played a snowboarding game. Now, I know we've as much chance of EA doing us a solid as Frodo and Sam would have had walking up to the gates of Mordor and asking politely if they could dispose of some jewellery, but Tricky has given us so much joy over the years that I think it's earned a sequel. As long as the sequel retains that kooky, early 2000s extreme art style and has the same addictive gameplay, I can't see how Tricky 2 could fail. Thanks for watching, I've been the Tominator and you've just clicked to reboot SSX Tricky. Hasta la vista.